Please work. Please work. No, I've done it too. No, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Damn it. What? What's going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to episode 2 of our brand new adventure map series, Rise of the Pigmen. I got brutally destroyed last episode, uh, and I think <laughs> I think it was because I was, I don't know, I need to find that book, but apart from that, uh, I need to get myself a weapon. So what I did was we actually had one iron ingot in our inventory, and there was another one inside this furnace, and there was a piece of coal in there, so I managed to actually smelt myself two iron ingots, so what I need to do now is find that place where they had the uh, the crafting table. Remember it said like free crafting or something? Oh, there, there it is. There she is. Free crafting. So now I can actually make myself my sword. Yay! There we go. Happy days. Happy days. Alright, so now I actually have a weapon. That might be quite useful, especially because there's pigmans. Alright, we're going to go straight back and see what there is. Um, I'm slightly confused about that book still. So I didn't pull that lever just yet. So I think I'm going to go and pull that lever. Um, there wasn't like a book in here, was there? No, I don't think there would be. But right, let's head back down. Dun, 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 unless, unless, I've got another idea actually as well. Um, I don't know if there was a book. There might have been a book hidden somewhere in the, the mine. Maybe. Possible. Like, you know what I mean? Sort of down here somewhere. So let's, let's keep our eyes peeled. Everything is so blue. Oh, God. I wonder if there was like a book or something in here. I don't see any chests. I think if there was a chest down here, you kind of spot it quite nicely. Um, come on. Yes. I need to check the rules, actually. Am I allowed to craft things? I hope so. Do not break any blocks. Yeah. Do not place any blocks. Do not play on peaceful. Gold equals money. Uh, simply trade your item with a chest. Don't steal stuff. All right. Yeah, fine. Doesn't say anything about me not being able to, to make stuff, so I think I think that's fine. They wouldn't give me iron ingots anyway if I couldn't actually use them, so I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Uh, so I was thinking it might be like here somewhere. Maybe. Oh, yes, there is a chest. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, that's not what I wanted, but ah, oh, three gold. Oh, that's really good, actually. Scary noise. All right, so what have we got there now? We've got 25 gold nuggets, uh, one gold ingot. We've got three more iron ingots, so I could make myself another sword if I needed to. Uh, but I don't see any chests with any books in. I don't think so. I see you not, chest. Alright, I'm going to pull that lever. Because you only live once. Yeah, you only live once. That's the motto. Alright. The book you found is extremely... Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, God. Oh, get, get a torch in there. Get a torch in there. Ah, this book. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Wow, we've got some serious looty loot in here. Right, we've got four iron ingots. we got uh, gold nuggets. Right, let's check out this book and see what it says. Ah, it's 21 pages long. I might do a little quick skip through this. So, The Pursuit of Tranquility. I have spent my life searching for the Fountain of Tranquility. Uh, it's only a myth... Uh, they all said. Those ignorant degenerates would believe anything. I have seen the fountain with my own eyes. It looked something because I can't see it because of the arrow. Uh, <laughs> I know others want to find this place. I won't make it easy. Throughout my travels, I have left nine pieces of a blue stone in different locations. These locations are not places normal travelers would visit. Traps, undead, and monsters. Hmm. That's nice. Uh, I doubt anyone would even attempt to find them. I have written this book for anyone determined enough to look. Uh, all right, okay. So one must first acquire all nine keys to unlock each location. Where are the keys? They are safe in small desert in a small desert compound used to hold my military personnel. Okay, so it seems like we've got keys to find in order to unlock places to get blue blocks or something like that. Uh, so there's supposed to be a secret tunnel buried in uh, to get this compound. All right, so it's buried away. I don't know if this is a true <laughs> location one. Ah, okay, so I'm going to need this. My secret home under Rivendell <laughs> is where I will live now. The villagers suspect nothing. All right, so they have begun to mine downwards. 
Alright. I fear they may find me. There is a massive arch passing over the fishing lake. I have managed to scale it and leave my first piece there. Let's just say there is no way anyone will get it without being blown to pieces. Right, so it seems that this dude, one of his first actual clues is in that huge arch, which is like where we live. That makes sense. So that's really awesome. So we're going to go and have a look at that in a minute. I also would quite like to do a few of these side quests. What the hell were those pigmen? Where did they even come from? What the hell? <laughs> they just came from nowhere. I have no idea. I'm guessing we can't go that way. Uh, all right. Okay. I hate running around in the dark because I'm terrified of the pigmen. Especially if they... <laughs> Especially if it's going to come out of the dark, like, ninja me, and then just run away. Oh, God, I'm stuck in a block. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to go and climb it now. All right, let me get, let me get out of here. Oh, I've got an itch. Oh, that was good. That was an itch in my eye, by the way, in case you were wondering. Oh, God, come on. Man. All right. I'm going to hardcore parkour my way up here. I'm guessing we just have to, yeah, do we just have to climb the waterfall? I say I'm trying to check behind the waterfall just in case there's any, like, hidden chests or anything, but I don't think there is. So, uh, yeah, let's, um... Oh, God. Let's get up out on here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I guess we need to climb one of these now, so, yeah, let's, let's head on up here. Moving on up, moving on now, yeah. Right, we could do with eating, actually. I'm going to eat that apple when I get to the top. Uh, we can also use the ender pearls to teleport and stuff, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, let's try and get out of here as quickly as poss. It is night time. I think it's night time. In which case, we could really do with um, getting back to our bed. Just because we've got no armor whatsoever right now, and that's not good. Where am I? Oh, hello. I can't be too far away from home. Can I? Oh, Jesus, there's a skeleton. No, oh, Jesus! No! Oh, God! No! Stop it! Oh, man. No! No, don't die to a skeleton! Oh, God, thank God for that. I really need to eat now. Right, I'm gonna have to... Oh, I've got some bread. I'm gonna eat that. Oh, God! The hordes are coming! The hordes are coming! Which way do I... Can I, can I run around this way? Is that... Is, is this possible? Because this is this is like little this is like the the big thing. So I'm guessing that if we go back this direction, then it should take us back to the village. Although there might be some hidden chests in this forest. It seems like something that they would do. This sneaky little map maker. All right, let's check this out. Let's get rid of this guy first. Shouldn't have really got hit then, but you know. All right. I've got this guy's sheep. So I've done that side quest. I've done, what, one side quest so far? Just for some nuggets and stuff. I can't remember this one. What was this side quest? I paid... Oh, yeah, I've done that one as well. After two side quests. That's not too bad. Oh, Right, so I'm going to go to sleep, and then we're going to go underneath that big blue arch type thing. Oh, you see where that torch is? I think we can end a pearl up there, and then that will be where, like, the first key is or something like that. So that's pretty damn awesome. All right, let me sleep. Sleep! Oh, it feels so good to sleep. I got killed by a pigman berserker. Oh, that's fair enough. He did get me good and proper. Like, I'm not going to lie. He, eh, he, he did well. Proper little ninja. Hmm. Seems to be something down there. Oh, there's a chest. Yes. I noticed... Oh, God. And a spawner. Get, get a torch in. Ah, oh, too late. Die. Torch it, torch it, torch it, torch it, torch it, torch it! Oh, Jesus! Oh, there's a manky dog in here as well. Yeah. That's some serious chests, though. I want those chests. Oh, God. Don't want to hit the dog. Don't want to hit the dog. Please don't hit the dog. Please don't hit the dog. Yes. Oh, man, how deep does this go? Hmm. See, if I had a pickaxe, I'd try and get rid of those, but as of yet... Oh god, I should have done that. Should not have done that. See, as of yet, I can't. So let's check the let's check the front couple of chests. A piece of bread and a couple of sticks. Alright, chill out. Ooh, got another thing. Ah, oh, that's reflex. I can get some more food. There's another chest here. 
I'm guessing they're kind of going to, like, get better the more we... The, oh, I don't need a cobblestone block, do I? I'm going to grab all this beef. Get rid of that leather. I know I could keep the leather for armor. I, I should probably do that, actually. Keep the leather. There's a villager down here. Oh, my God, there's a lot of spawners. Oh, they're spawning wolves, though. The wolves aren't attacking me. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining, but... Yeah. See, the thing is, the only issue is here, torches. Torches are the issue. Oh, one wrong hit and, uh, <laughs> I'm going down. Ooh. Alright, so I'm going to try and loot as much of this as possible. A pressure plate? Is that something that would be useful? I don't know. <gasps> I've hit the mother load! Oh, man, why do people always... Uh, put them in, like... Oh, I've got loads of uh, coal here so I can make uh, some more torches. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to use it all on torches. Very good, very good. Keep the sticks. Alright, so let's eat something. Um, what can I eat? I saw some fish. Ah, cooked fish. Perfect. Perfecto! Alright, very good. Got some bones. I'll just take my wolves with the bones. Actually, I don't want wolves. Because I'll end up hitting them and then they'll just come and kill me and be like, Nope, not today. Are these wolves supposed to be attacking me? Oh, I think it's like if I hit one, then the whole lot will just go like aggro on me. So I'm gonna try and <laughs> gonna try and avoid that as much as possible. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take as much food as I can. See this? I'm regretting this milk decision. This is a decision I am regretting. Man, there's a lot of food and stuff in here. This is good. Really stacking up with some stuff. Uh, did I miss any chests? I don't think so. If I carry on the way I'm going, I'm going to be able to... Oh, Jesus! Oh, I nearly hit that dog. That was close. If I carry on the way I'm going, I'm going to run out of, like... I'm going to run out of space, for starters, but... I think I'm going to, like, be able to make myself some armor. I'm pretty sure I can craft stuff. Because otherwise... Ooh! Yes! Oh, wow, check that out. I've got a special item, which is a golden sword. What was that called? A greedy man, greedy man's dagger. Looting three. Nice! Wow, this was a really good idea coming down here. I wonder what these villagers are trading. Redstone? I really want redstone. What's this guy got? Uh, bookshelf. Completely useless for my quest, but thank you very much. All the same. Oh, that was that was that was really cool. Got to admit, that was pretty awesome. That must be like some kind of like little side dungeon style thing where um, you can come and do a little bit of questing. Any hidden chests down here? Nope. Okay. Ugh. There we go. Let's get a poo and see what we could find. Um, a lot of coal. Now I can't actually break the coal blocks, so that's something I can't do. I know that. But what I want to see now is how. How am I going to get it? See, I could I could ender pearl up, but like, is it a good use of the one ender pearl that we've actually got? Or I could just try and go up the old-fashioned way. Unless there's anything in here. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. See, I know this map maker. He's going to put little us little sneaky bits in. There's a house over there. He's going to put a load of little sneaky bits in that um that I'm going to miss. So. Yeah, I right. know oh, we don't have to use our ender pearl. I think we, I think we can get up here. I'm trying to get to that. There's like a torch up there with a chest, and I think that's where we need to go. Although I can't get up this way, so I'll go around this way instead. I need another cooked fish or two. Right, let's check this out. Ch -ch -ch Checking it out. Ah, there is a thing here. Oh, ender pearl. Yes. All right, so we've got two. Ooh. You need to get the keys to unlock this location, right? I thought you said the key was here. Should I end a pill to the top of it again? Check it out. I could do. Yeah, all right. Go on then. Go on then. I'll check it out one more time. Um, let me grab me end of pearls. I'm quite curious as to what this pressure plate is going to do because I, I think it's a bit cheaty if I um, if I use like end of pearls to uh, to get up there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, oh, have I overshot it? Oh. Yes, I did overshoot it. Oh, damn it. That was completely pointless. 
Right, so I'm guessing, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go like right on top. I'll go like right over the top of it and see if there's anything. The villagers have begun to dig down. But why would they be digging down if I had to go up? It makes no sense to me. They see me on this arch trying to find some stuff. Oh Jesus, this is this is this is dodgy. Please work, please work. No, I've done it too No, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Damn it! What? <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh see now I don't have my ender pearls and I've suffocated on a wall. I have very little to say about that. That is no. <laughs>Last episode I kind of forgot that I was supposed to go to the underground bit in the sand in order to get the keys and then that is one of the locations of it. So I'm not actually looking for anything in particular there. That was a bit of a waste of time so I do apologise for that. Uh, oh, there's some sand over there. But yeah, whilst I'm down here uh, on this end of town, I thought I'd go and check out this area because there are like some little side quests and stuff down here. So I thought it would be cool to check it out and see what's going on. Ooh. Hello. Got mushrooms. What is this? This is the meat house. Ooh, the meat. The meat metal. Ah, so this guy's for food. I'm actually really good for food right now. I've got a lot of it. So this is animal food. Don't eat it. You nasty pig. <laughs> okay. That is sheep. Got a load of eggs coming out of here. Uh, that's the side quest area. There's two actually around here. Let's check out this one first. Okay, it says, Help! My beloved cows are infected with some sort of fungi. Please cure them. I'll pay you. Cure the cows and reclaim the reward. Whoa, what's going on there? I have no idea. Right. Uh, ooh, I just took it by accident. All right, well, I'm guessing I have to cure the cows now. I've completely forgotten how to cure mushrooms, so I just punched them. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been ages since I've played with mushrooms. Do I, do I just punch them? I can't remember. What the hell do I do? Do I kill them? Nope. Um... Uh, um, how do I cure you again? I, ah, oh God, I'll cure you. I'll put you out of your misery. Uh, I really shouldn't have taken the uh, the uh, things there. I'll uh, I'll put three back because I'm an honest player and I'm like, you know what? We can't, we can't cheat unless there's something here that I can use. Flint and steel. I could set them on fire. Does that work? Probably not. All right, you know what? Because we're honest, I'm gonna put three back. Right, so that's a little side quest there. Um, what else have we got? God damn, it's noisy down here. Just everything's like going. <laughs> I'll do. Right, let's check out this area here. We've got another little house. That's one of those tricksy beds that don't look right. That's another little side quest. So it says, "Hello there, dear child. Would you mind breeding my animals for me? I'll pay you one nugget for every baby animal born. Use this wheat. I suppose I could do that." Come on, piggies. Come on, breed. That's not breeding, is it? Come on. Come on. Follow me. Follow me, everything is alright. Do I really... Can I really... I don't really think... Uh, you know what? I don't really want to breed them. I don't... Uh, you know what? Fine. We'll breed them. Come on. Love me. Love me. There's one. You, you little loner at the back here. Come on, breed! Breed! Yes! I've got three of these left. I'm just killing all the babies. This is bad. Alright, you know what that'll do. How many have we got? One, two, three, four. There we go. You know what? I'll take four. I'll take four. That's good enough. Ooh, there's an area down there as well. Check that out. One, two, three, four. Let's go and check out. I'm going to go down here. What's this? This is the Penicare Tunnel access to the plant farms. Ooh, this is cool.